Hello everyone, and welcome to an all-new campaign where, where we will be playing Verkul Ozavar, the kings under the mountain. So, we're obviously doing Great Conqueror first, right? We have a special government with special mechanics. We start off with these three vassals, and if we look at our government, we are the Mountain Kingdom. This is an extra diplomat. Uh, spine over construction, diplo rep. However, we shouldn't conquer anything directly. We get two extra diplo slots, and we really shouldn't conquer anything directly. Yeah. It's, uh... Basically, we're supposed to expand through vassals. Anyway, so... Because we worship ancestors... Because we do ancestor worship, we are going to do the dev cost one, because... Well... If we look at where all of these are, they're all in... The Dwarvar. Which we are not going to have access to. Alright? So we look at this. So we're only going to uh, rival Beyond Fong right now. Because in a couple days, we're going to get a event for this to happen. For this to go down. And that's not going to be very fun, right? In the meantime, we're going to grab one, two, three guys. That'll push us up. We have a force one to 13. Let's go all the way up to 13, then. Alright. Not really making any money, so we're just going to chill on that. And what we're going to do right now is improve with our subjects. And the last thing, this is a slightly better node we're going to collect from it. Because, sadly, this is a starting node. Nothing goes into it, so it's pretty worthless. Eventually, I would like to be over here, but that's a long way off. So, yeah. Okay. So, this is that event I was talking about. Today, a messenger has arrived outside our hole, claiming to represent the true ruler of Bayon Sin, temporarily residing in Ma Huang. The man says that Kaban Din has been forced to make take up arms against the madness of the old emperor, who seeks to rule even after death. Many in the hold still begrudge the extortionate tributes the old emperor levied to fuel his endless military campaigns and see this as a chance to put a ruler on the throne that will feel indebted to us. As the conversation was concluding, the man let slip that he is here on his own initiative, so it would seem it is ultimately on us to reach out to this pretender. So we're going to definitely reach out to him, which is really nice. Yeah. So that's the first thing. First, we get a decent general, and he has a nice trait. Yeah, thinking about this. Huh? Where did my troops go? Oh, they're over here. I'm okay with this. So who are you allied to? Okay, we're about to join this war. These guys, these guys might come in. Anyway, next thing I want is all of you to go on to this. You guys are on this. I want everyone to go hide in the mountain first. Because we're about to get called into this war, and it sucks. Ma Hong accepts. Unsurprisingly, Ma Hong has accepted our offer of aid. So we are in this war. Han Sai doesn't like me, and I get really nice... Um, and Kudakai gets Dwarven Arms. Okay. Okay, cool. Good for them. If we look at this, we have notably more troops than them. And it is these three guys versus us. So what do we do first? That's a good question. So, Gates of the Mountain. It needs to be... 1445... So, Patu, since time immemorial, has served as the gate to the mountain, with even the locals calling it gate in their local language. However, with the recent eruption of conflict across Thindakai, it seems that some renovations are in order. We shall be manning this gate with more soldiers and, re and reinforce its structure so our mountain may be spared from whatever armies come to destroy it. So this gives me... So that gives this province uh, nice modifiers and a free rampart. Yeah. So this province is going to actually have really nice defenses. And we're going to go down to one more speed down. Everyone right here. I want to get my troops in order. Decadence come with age. Wow. Thanks, game. It hasn't even been a year yet. Well, let's see how this works out. For now. 
Zero four. We can definitely take that if someone will come help me. You know, actually, now that I think about it. Come on. Just go in. Very nice. Nice. We lost about the same number of men, but they lost horses, so that's better for us. How'd they get over there? Oh, Certain's in this war with us? Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna destroy these guys, my goodness. See, we don't really have manpower. So we have to do what we can very deliberately. We have to do what we will very deliberately. What we're doing right now is um making sure that this guy doesn't get ganked. Because there's a very good chance of that. So we're gonna stand over here. Just to make sure that doesn't happen. Who's down here? Uh this guy. We could probably get this guy. Oh wait, no. So, because this war is so interesting, there is a modifier that gives everyone plus 300 to stay in the war. So this war is over when it's over. I would like this to go to them, because that's where it's supposed to go. Uh, Mahong. There we go. Looks like everyone's over there. That's good. That's good. That's what we want. Took a loan. That's going to happen. May I have this. Okay. Bad. Do not do that. Hmm. We could just go over here and start looting that, couldn't we? Yeah. So. It looks like they're going to let this fall. The fools. Hopefully this isn't too bad. Hmm. Okay, we got that fort. Very nice. Alright, everyone follow me. We are now at plus 25% war score, which is all we need here. The Civil Intercession. Virgil Ozavar has long stood as one of the most prosperous and stable places in all of the West. Even before the Day of Ashen Skies, Virgil Ozovar stood as king over Thindakai, but after thousands of years, our influence has diminished quite heavily. We have stood on our hold idly far too long. It is time for us to finally take action. So, my vassals get morale of armies plus 15% for five years. Very nice. So if they will come with me, I would be quite happy. You're a fool for that one. Yeah, I want everyone to come help me. Okay. We got an 11 stack there. Let's go kill them. Come on, everyone. Land research useless. No, it's not. Alright, good fight. Wonderful. Alright, we lost roughly the same amount of men. However, these guys suck. And they're dead. Nice. That is a stack wipe. We are at... Where are we? There we are. 35%. That's good. That's good. What we're going to do is... Go down here. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good chance of just stack with them. Stack wiping them, please. No? Oh, they're close. We can get over there, actually. Oop, that's not where they're going. Whatever they're going. So I want this army stack wipes. Probably up here. Well, I'll kill these guys over here, I guess. Because that should kill. Wonderful. And these guys. Yeah, get out of here. Die. Nice. Finish them. Okay, very good. You're at 44% now. Okay, that's really good. 
So we're going to turn that off. You guys, I would like you to go siege. We've killed basically their entire army. They have three guys left. There's one down there and two over there. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, it looks like we uh, definitely got this. So that's nice. Woo! Kill. Finish them. Yeah, we're just gonna stack work by doing some fights like this. We are still at 37%. We haven't done anything. Not much, at least. We are out of men, though. Which sucks. Oh, they're right here. Kill. Wonderful. Kill. Alright. Looks like that was uh, quite the decisive war. Alright, nice. And over here. We have war exhaustion really high. Just bump it down, it's fine, it's not a big deal. We're going to give all of this to Mahong, because they're supposed to have it. Huh. What are that means? Well, looks like they're pretty much at 100%. So we're going to give this over to Mahong. Is this going to work out properly? Okay, they're out. Okay, it, it did work out properly. I got... Nothing. Cool. Mahuang. So, a bunch of stuff happened. Emperor is that, and they get some cool stuff. Good for them. So, a, well, a war well fought. Through strength of arms and ample diplomatic maneuvering, we have emerged victorious in the war for the Baihan Zen. Calvon Din has been named sole inheritor to the Empire. With our place as the ruler of the Northern Kai finally cemented, the crumbling domain of Burkle Ozovar shall rise again from the rock once more. Fits prestige. Love it. Okay. Next. Welcome the veterans. So we get... And this gives us manpower recovery speed, 10%. Yeah, that's going to be helpful. We're 5,000 down. Okay. With Din's victory, many veterans of the Civil War, especially among the Hinfot, are astonished by our prowess in battle, our mighty cannon, and our viridescent armor. Because of this, many soldiers have flocked to Verkul Ozovar. Though humans have not traditionally served in the main armies of Verkul Ozovar, it would be foolish not to accept these battle-hardened warriors coming into our hold to serve, our, to serve in our armies. Let us welcome these veterans and allow them to settle on the outskirts of our hold. Yeah, so, um, manpower recovery speed, and we get a human minority. Wonderful. And last thing, Honor Beyond the Mountain. We just had to complete that. Yeah. Ever since the dissolution of our former empire across Thindakai, we have distrusted the little states that have popped up across South West. But Kavon Din has shown us that honor can be found beyond the Hinfots. Though we do wish to reclaim our empire, it is time for us to reconcile with the Kai and send an official treaty of friendship to Din. So, Treaty of the Kai. An outstretched hand is all it takes for a comrade to become a brother. In the wake of Baihan Bloodbath, yeah, that's a good name for that war, oh my goodness, the Nephrite Dwarves have begun once again to look outwards towards the Kai that we were once undisputed stewards over. Though conflicting in nature, perhaps the Baihan Zin and Burgul Ozvar can stand side by side to defend and hold dominion over the Kai once more, and to restore the ailing empire of the East. So, and another event happens. The Duandi Treaty. The friendly humans of Mahong have accepted our treaty of friendship. Though only a flimsy document as of now, the exact terms of the agreement will be negotiated after five years, with more serious talks occurring then. Well, that's really nice. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people died in this war. Cool. So more than friends, it needs to be at least five years. See the distrust? I really want that first.
Yes. So that's actually one of the things we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this one off. Here, my ally, we have a lot. Oh, we can actually just do that. Okay, that's not so bad then. I can just spend all my favors to do trust. That's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're going to spy on these guys. Number one. Number two, they are actually my rival. Alright. And the last thing is, you're off. I would like to embargo my rivals. It'll be you. And you. Okay, you get to drill. Oh, we have loans. No, we don't. Yay! Currently doing 101. Okay. Issue embargo. Very good. And they have rivaled me back. Wonderful. Now this is really nice. Allied in a war. Plus 141. That's really nice, actually. So we're going to go up to speed 5, because this is a lot of waiting around, actually. These next missions. Crafting a foundation. And united under the mountain. These guys all need to be over 150, and I need to have a diplomat. You go for another one. Yeah. This is going to be fine. This is going to be fine. Decisions available. Oh, I never... I kind of ignored that. Learnings of an Elder. Um, Your stats are 444. Hmm. Which is most useful? We're going to be deving the hold. So I'm thinking... Dip, actually. It's going to be slightly more useful. We have a 564 as our heir, though, so we're going to start on military. Eventually he will get better, but for now that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we don't have enough to do that. What we can do, however, is work on this. So first we're doing all the ones that are like that. We're also going to make them happier, so oversight, that's fine. This one, I want primacy plus... Not that one, right, a council. I can do this. It's not really worth it right now, though. It's not really worth it because I need the money from that. We're definitely not doing that. That's kind of worthless. Cartels, uh, this one, and the free trade. Yeah, free trade, there we go. Adventures are state. Or that's the land of adventure? That's... Hmm. So it's the land of adventure. Eventually I will uh, change this over to license adventures. I think that's going to be better. Yeah. Mages, we have state. Okay, that's one that I want. And sadly, we don't have enough there. Doesn't really do much. 43. 59. 50. Okay, so you need one more thing. Can you do patronage? Can you do prestige? That sounds fine. Yeah. That sounds fine. That'll be decently happy. Your loyalty is... 34, that's uh, bad. Okay. So, eventually we're going to get an event that'll say, Hey, you want your crown land back? And I'm going to say, yes, please. There it is. Yes, I would like my crown land back. And then autonomy goes up. Oh, no. I only have my capital. It doesn't need anything. Beyond Fong is now a great power. Wow. Loranker's a great power. That's kind of crazy. Oh, they, uh... Killed the vampires. Or the not vampires. Good for them. Command is scary, as usual. Trade League ended. Okay. Okay, so that's done. I need... Well, actually, I want you back. The wrong one. What we're gonna do is I need your trust up to 70. You, I would like a relation still to go higher. And I need one more month on that and favors for trust. Wonderful. Should be able to do this now. Seeds of distrust. With the war over, Bai Hon Zin, the opportunistic Bokai, in a bid to free themselves from Qian Qian Bin Hrung rose against their masters under the leadership of Lord Pul Pulatan. 
Where a problem lies is that the Bokai have traditionally been hostile to the dwarves, and though they have temporarily reached a detente with Verkul Ozovar due to the war for Baihon Zin, it is no question that relations will suffer in the future. This means that sooner or later, loyalties will be broken and a new war could engulf Tindakai again. Verkul Ozovar must use all of its means, even if they are not the most honorable, to prevent this. And this does... So, this guy and this guy, uh, add 25 distrust towards each other, and minus 75 opinion, and you get minus 2 Diplo rep for how long? 5 years. Nice. And then quash the revolt. So this does... This will declare a war. We are not ready for that. We have zero manpower. <laughs> we are not ready for that. Do they have allies? Yeah, they have allies with some weak guys. So what we're going to do... It is a subjugation war. Should be enough that I can just take them. But I'm not ready for that yet. Instead of that, we're going to make... You like me already. You need to like me some more. And you... I want Spy Network here. So I can grab some of those provinces more easily. So we're going to be waiting on that. Loyal subjects. Wonderful. Uh, that's kind of worthless, other than the Diplo Rep. I'll take the 60 dub. Thanks. So we have cash. That's nice. Barely making money. Now we are currently losing money because we now have more troops. I think that means it's time to start deving. Has Renaissance spawned? No, it is not time to start deving. What I will do, however, is click this button one time. Expand infrastructure because it will give me more money. Yeah. That'll be just enough to hold me over. Yeah. That's what I figured. Okay, this is going decently well. I'll take it. Okay. That should be this mission done. Crafting Foundation, not that one. United Under the Mountain. I need a diplomat. Or a statesman. Diplomat. Perfect. He is going to be here for one month, and then I'm getting rid of him. United Under the Mountain. The Hinfot have stood with us since we came out of the mountains to rule over the Kai. Loyal to their mountain overlords, even with the collapse of our control over the Kai. However, the Hinfat remain divided among three lords, even under our rule, due to our weakness and reliance upon lords for control over the Hinfats. Now, Verkul Ozovar has passed its need to rely on the lords of the Hinfats. The Hinfats shall no longer stand divided. They shall instead be united under the realm's realm of Hinfat, forever prosperous. So Hinfat gets inherits the other what happens is Hinfat inherits the other two and they become a patronate. And they are now a patronate instead of a regular vassal. Which means I can do this, and it's totally fine. Uh, patronate has minus 10% uh, liberty desire, which is really nice. Also, they are historical. Also, they become a, they've been a historical friend, so very good. So now I can make a little bit more cash. Reminder of duty. I need to warn these guys. Oh, I just got subjugation cost of belly on them. Who are you allied to? Sad. Interesting. That's kind of bad. The surface farmers. Uh, all of these provinces are 8 dev. Hmm. All of them will gain a dwarf, dwarf minority. It's not really worth it right now. 8. So, you're at 11, you're at 13. 6, 5, 6, 6. It's not that expensive. Honestly, it's not that expensive. However, I can't really afford it. Oh, right. We are now far over the force limit. Uh, this guy, yes, definitely rival him. And that guy, sure. So what we're going to do is you are no longer there. We look at this, we are now two over the force limits. So we're gonna just regular consolidate, and there we go. No longer losing money. Or we're losing much less money.
Yeah, sad. Am I embargoing all three? No, I'm not. You need to be embargoed. You. I would like you to be embargoed, too. Now, who are you allied to? Okay, I could definitely kill you. I would like to do something like that. I think we're going to go after these guys next, actually. Actually, I'm not even sure. This is Thindakai. We're going to eventually take over all of Thindakai. Bomb done. Yeah, it's um kind of hard to say what I'm going to end up doing. Has Renaissance spawned? No. Yes. Yes, it has. Very good. That means it is time for this. What does another one do? I need 30 dev for the next expand. That's good. So what we're going to do is... Oops. Oops, I never clicked this button. Really should have. Oh well. Next, we're going to do Encourage Development. And time to start deving. This is, however, already a level 2 hold, so we need to get the level dev 50. Okay, nice. Okay, we have Renaissance. Very good. And we need four more dev here. But, we should be making money now. Oh, we got the setting! Okay. Gem cutting masters in Virgil Osvar have made a breakthrough in diamond cutting by experimenting with diamond dust suspended in oil on, on their scapes. This is allowing the Osavari artisans to cut the rare stones in entirely new shapes into much greater brilliance. The resulting technique, known as facetting, produces a stone of a more pleasing geometric shape and with better optical qualities. As the new stones and technique for making them spread across courts and workshops, the demand for jewelry, diamonds, and precious stones is increasing greatly. Okay, so I get diamond district. Normally, this happens in a glass province, because those are usually the bigger ones. But I guess I can also spawn in gem provinces. That, or, the other the other thing that might have happened is um, they changed it in 1.34. But it's nice, because that means this province is going to actually be making me a lot more cash. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, nice. No longer a valid rival. So sad. Who is? Mahong. That's not happening. Oh well. Revoke. And revoke. Oh well. I'm making cash now, so I'm happy. I'd like to get some manpower at least. I suppose I could spend professionalism to get manpower, but like, how much am I getting out of that, even if I do? Like nothing, right? Uh, take the national unrest, it doesn't matter. I have one province. Yeah. This is the interesting campaign. We're going to be playing as a one province miner. Kohai. Who are you attacking? Kohai. Oh, right. Cultures. That's what I was looking at. So these are the Hinfats. Okay. Sikai, Phonon, Bokai, Kom, and Finrug. Okay. I'm actually making some decent cash. Which is nice. Not going to lie. Alright, so what we're going to do here, this is still on, I believe. Yes. I would like this to get to be to the next hold. So, one, two, three. And then one more click in a bit. Making good cash. That last click's going to be in a while, though. So we look at these missions. Ah, crafting a foundation. When Virgil Ozevar's construction began thousands of years ago, it was constantly expanding and growing rapidly with the influx of refugees. In recent years, however, Virgil Ozevar has seen its growth stall, and the expansion of the hold stopped. Though this seemed seemingly bad at first, has brought us an opportunity. Virgil Ozevar, due to its constant growth, was shoddily built in some places. It is time for us to build a proper foundation for the hold, so we can finally rival our ancient home. So I get construction costs. And they get construction costs for 10 years. Perfect. Beauty of the Mountain, I need to be level 3. This is exactly why I want that one last one, because it makes it cheaper for 10 years. Which 
I'm able to do both of these, right? 90% of force limit. Oh, it went back up. Cool. New trade research heretical. Uh, no, it's not. Don't be dumb. Okay, that's good. You're fine. What I want to do now is actually get some other allies. Would anyone like to be my ally that's decently strong? No one even wants to be my ally. Why do you hate us? I like to rival. Yep, that'll do it. <sighs> hmm. Who else could there be? Oh, Rockland's decently strong. How are you looking? Well, that's gross. Um. Phaeton? No? This guy? That one's pretty decent. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do you. Let's improve with you. And someone over here. Anyone else hate these guys? A lot of people do. Sertan. Yeah, let's improve with Sertan and Arachalan also then. This is the war we're going to do. So, looking at this, they are only allied to those tiny guys. And you're a vassal over As Asgar. Interesting. That's what happened. Who are you out to? Same thing. Okay. Yeah, we could definitely deal with this. That's kind of big, actually. What we need to do is... That's the wrong one. Hmm. Improve, improve, improve. Not do that one. Let me focus on you. Yeah? I don't know. You want money. How much? 14. Yeah, that's fine. These will be really tough wars. More than friends. Oh, this will probably do it. Din, though our greatest friend and ally, must... Well, actually, I'm gonna... Yeah, we're probably gonna do that one next episode. At the beginning of it, because there's a good chance that it's going to be something very bad happening. I'm going to just put that off for now. So we got a couple more minutes left on this. But yeah, this is going better than I was expecting. Great Palace. Do I need to? Not really. Oh, I still have this guy. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, those are worth it. Just give me the points. Morale of armies, that looks good. And one last click. That's all it takes. Yeah, let's do dip. More money, please. Thank you. And time to deepen the capital. 300 crowns. Let's go. All right. I'm in debt. I don't care. For a lot of debt. Wow. Oh, they're close. What about certain? Not at all, because. Okay. Well, they're no longer no longer a uh, choice. What about you? Too far away. Why are you so? bad. I don't know. This will probably be the only option I have. Hmm. Military laborers? Sure. Hmm. I'm gonna drop more trust here. Actually, the truth with these guys ends in 54. We might be able to do something with that. They're only allied to me. That's interesting. 
I've been messing with them. Land tech useless. Uh, wrong. Month nine. Meaning, let's stop drilling. I want you to be unsupportive. Will you be my friend? Yes. You are in a war with whom? That's not so bad. So I thought it was. Yeah. That was fine. Okay. Human tolerance goes down. Okay. Thanks, game. That's not mean at all. Hurtful trade policies. Um, no, it's fine. Also, when is this one going away? Honestly, the absolutism is really the only problem. Also, the fact that I can't click this button. 68. Okay. Azkara is my new rival. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're a little scary. For right now. You may be embargoed. Okay, it looks like that truce is done. Will you join me? No. Because they're in ridiculous debt. I see. Hmm. Now you... I guess we're working on curry favors then. Okay, and that's where we're going to have to end it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time.